Garde Venuts à la saison 2. And to kick off season number two here in Montpellier, we take on one of the top teams in the top quartiles. It is Clermont at our doorstep looking to kick their season off at our expense. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along and welcome to the first time to season two here on the Montpellier career mode here on your home of rugby as well. Today, yes, we are at home taking on Claremont, a very, very good Claremont side who finished inside the top four in season number one. But if you tuned in to our introduction video or the stream from the weekend ago, you'll know that this team has got a little bit more about it than in season one for Montpellier. Plenty of new names, 17 in fact. If you have not seen the new names, the new players, and the new faces. Go check out that introduction video and or stream. We did both because, you know what? We're damn crazy. So let's take a look at our starting 15. It's a mix of the experience from season one and the X Factor coming in for season number two and see just what we have up against us from this Claremont side. So our front row stays with Mohamed House, Vincent Gildasalli, and Malik Hamaraj at 1, 2, and 3. Paul Willemse and the new man, Anthony Geelong, come together in the second row before we look towards the big boys. Fulgens Wade Drago at 6. Yukova Kamara at 7. And Fabian Sanconi, another new name, 24-year-old, bollocks his way in at number 8. Here's a little look at something exciting. Benoit Paylag starts at 9. Look at this, Brett Heron. I'm excited to see what the Englishman can do outside of Paylag in the big smoke of the top Kratos. On our left wing, Lewis Reece Samet. Oh yeah, the Welsh boy is here to play. And in pre-season, he was something pretty special in his chances as well. A new look midfield as well. Skinner and Dalmeira will be 12 and 13. On the outside, on the right, Vincent Ratiz. And of course, Anthony Boffier at fullback. Now, this team selected on the stream in the weekend as well. So if you don't check out the streams coming on the channel, I'm hoping to do some more. This series, other series, something new, something different as well. So keep your eyes peeled on streams coming from your home of rugby. Of course, big squad, expecting injuries, and of course, rotation will be key. On the other side of things, in the yellow and blue of Claremont, I mean, a lot of focus here is on this first one, Pellier side, but take a look at this team. Dan Fish there, Wesley Fofana, George Moala, Alvarini Raka, Camilo Lopez, Morgan Parra. That is a pretty stacked back line as well. Kankale at eight, Yato at seven, Lee at six, Lavanini, Varamahina, Slimani. Good God, that is one hell of a team. Probably only three names there that I don't recognize to either international standard or a very, very high club standard as well. So, yep, it's worth being worried about. This is a very, very good Claremont side. And last season, remember, they beat us as well. I'm pretty sure this is a Claremont side we have never given the L to. What is looking like on the benches? We have a nice looking bench as well. I'm pretty excited about what we have. But for Claremont, a Lovotti, the front row up is one to definitely keep your eyes peeled on. Merrick, Lepandre, Bezzi, goodness, Pincus at the bottom as well. Plenty of talent there. Pincus was actually uncontracted last season. I was thinking about picking him up, but it seems like he has uh, stuck with Claremont for the new season. For our side of things, nice bench. I'm excited to see what Merrick can bring this team in 21. And we know Golanitsky. Woo, he is a talent as is Edovani. Big boys on the outside channels make things happen. Right, game one. Let's get it underway. Of course, it is Clermont in the yellow and blue. We're in the blue and black. <coughs> Ready to go. Clermont kick off, and it's high to the right hand side. And Hamarash is there. First play of the game. And let's play sensible, clever rugby. We've got good boys now in our 10 jersey. Skinner and Heron, they're both playing tonight. So let's see how they go together as Fish. Returns it back, and it's filled up there from Skinner himself, and he's still Ratiz on his outside as well. It's a wobbly old pass, looking on the inside, Damaru, great ball there from Ratiz. Damaru lost the plot, he's shown it to no one, and it's a free kick into touch on the ball. We'll take it back, thanks. And a big chance for us to attack right on the off. 
Just outside the 22. Right, Gula Sally. Hit your man. Let's go. Let's rumble this up. To the back it goes. And we, well, we tried to hold on to it at the back. It doesn't quite work for us. Let's do something nice and intelligent. Right. We want to go cut back inside to Skinner. Trying to slip away. Okay, that didn't quite work for us. Let's, let's go something new again. Right, this time. I can, I can see Ratiz. Ratiz running on the outside. Ratiz, beautiful split back. Takes on Fish in the back. Taken down. It's there for Montpellier. We need quick ball. Pelar gets it. House to no one in particular. Dameru takes the hit and goes backwards. We need some more ball. Quickly up, boys. Hamanach with the hit up. Goes towards and into the 22. Fight, boys. Fight for that ball. Every breakdown. Again, we keep it short. Sankoni! Oh, we love it with a big, powerful number eight. Do we go one more? No, now we'll go to the backs. So Ratiz is open out wide. Can he put a fan on? Great defense out there on Ratiz. Does very, very well. We've got to get something working here. Let's go classic. Let's hit the man in the middle. Heron, we're looking for a little chip through. Is he going to hit the man? It's a little grub. Oh, a little chip over the top. Oh, it's outstanding. Boffier, what a play. Sempies, chip and taste. And Boffier scores her only try. Oh, set pieces are magical. How good was that? You don't see rugby like that very often. Not on Montpellier. But this team has certainly turned the corner. How good was this play? Heron. Oh, beautiful line from Boffier. Class, class run. Nothing for Fana could do chasing across. Wow, and Moala, two very fast, powerful players, and Boffier split them like that typical saying of the hot knife through butter. What a start for Montpellier. It's 5 0. And you know, this young fella here and will slip it over for an extra two. It is seven points to nil. New look Montpellier firing up at the start of the season. Well, well, well. Have some of that, Claremont. You've not done anything in 18 minutes, you useless mugs. Okay, let's get excited. This could be a successful season. Up we go again. Uh oh, good tackle there. My Drago. A little bit under the pump there at the breakdown, but we get away with it. We will fire it back to here and look to pin Claremont down inside their own 22. Great kick again from here. And, and look at the red boots of Reece Samet scorching down the left hand wing, putting that pressure on. And you've got to say, Heron is making a real difference to the side already. It's Claremont under pressure. Oh, that's a turnover. We've stolen that again already. Paylag out to Heron. Hell, he takes a heavy hit there as well. We're going to lose that. Oh, we were far too slow to that breakdown. But Claremont's uninterested. Look at the move. They shifted everyone from the left. House, Reesemmet. Go Reesemmet to the corner. Can he step in? No, he's going to go up to touch. Put the fend on Fish, but momentum carried him over the sideline. Those boots are fire, aren't they? Beautiful boots, bright red. You do not miss Lewis Street Samet in this game. To the middle they go. Look like they're going to go to the back, but there's a massive gap there. Pile on and they are under pressure here, Claremont. Seven points to nil. For some reason they keep it tight and they go straight through. Outstanding work from Bahamahina. He's still going, although a little bit sideways on that occasion. There again. Probizi. He hits it up himself, doesn't look for the pass. Now it's fired back and kicking away. What's not Lopez there? Opting for the options from the right wing. Interesting call from Clermont. They don't get it far at all. And we are looking for just a three man line out. Let's see what we can cook up. Oh, just about lost it. Right, that's what we wanted. But not like this. Not like this, lads. Turn it around. Yes, power in there. Nice work. Now we've got a charging for Look who's in. Heron's at the back. What's he doing there? Right, Paylark. Hit the offside guy. He's offside. Make him pay. Give it to Ratiz. The numbers on the right. Oh, Ratiz. He's too slow. Didn't get that pass away. And we might lose this, actually. We are. Uh-oh. And we are underdone defensively. Keep the numbers up, lads. Oh, nice inside pass as well. Alvarini Raka. 
up towards halfway he goes and a strong runner Reece Simmons going back to cover full back and they bust our line again now Boffier's back there slow again very slow breakdown but they do nice and keep it tight another rubbish run from the base we can go quickly no way through there Drago on the breakdown quickly. Oh, Rakers hammered this time. Smashed off the ball. Short. Oh, beautiful pass. Lopez is through. That was a nice little offload from Lovinini. They get it out to the wings. Oh, it's so ball. Outstanding rugby from Claremont. And they'll score their first of the season. Right on the stroke of half time. And this game is no way at all done for the 80. Fritz Lee scores. What a cracker of a try. This pass, boom. Hit it pace from Lopez. And then watch them take Boffier out. Somehow offload. Nicely into the left wing. And the support line of Lee. Outstanding running lines. Well, you just can't argue with that. Just class. Absolute class from Clermont. And they have looked outplayed from this half, I would say. Montpellier, the better team in the opening 40, but boy, it just takes one moment of brilliance. That short pass from a player like Lavanini. Bahamahina's the other one in the second row. He can do it too. Just pops it short. And a man, a pace like that, like Lopez, you're just going to be cooked. Support play, beautiful as well. And we have a tight ball game at the halftime break. 7 7. Montpellier and Clermont all tied up. Position, well, it's all the way of the home team. 61% going our way. And the line breaks too, pretty tight. It's a close game. Both sides having chances, letting a few go, but ultimately putting away the one that counts. One try apiece. Expecting more in the second 40 minutes as we get back to the action for the two sides as they begun. Tied up, this time though, seven all. Now we've had a good first half. I whisper it to myself, but no injuries. And I will be looking to make some impact subs later on, like we did during preseason. If we can stay injury free. Oh, it's Rick Simmons. Oh, he's been left behind. Advantage. Oh, that's a great tackle there from Paylog. Had to be made as well. If he didn't dislodge that ball, it was all over again. Come on, we're gone. I tell you what, this is some start. Raka to Lee. And look, gets rid of Rick Simmons. And so. They did on the wing as well. Paylark, though, Crouch. just managing to knock Fine. the ball out of his hands. Or else that Sit. would have been disaster. We have a chance now. Oh, what a scrum. Sanconi. We love a little bit of a run off the base. Sanconi does just well enough. Now, let them move. Because I like the room on the short side. With three Samet there as well. Oh, thunderous head. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did I say it? Reece Samet goes off, neck injury, game one, injury number one. Luckily for us, though, we have the depth of a champion team. Golanitsky's there, Padovani can play on the wing. We certainly do have plenty of options, but what a shame. I really wanted to see more out of Lewis Reece Samet. I think he can be an absolute superstar, but the way the series is, it's punishing, man. It's really punishing, and this is why we go off depth. That's why we signed 17 players. Because in season one, we just got smashed with injuries. We just got smoked. And we can't afford Fine. to let that happen again this season. We can't afford to be playing hookers Sit. at the center. We've got to have the depth. That is a massive hit. Oh, my word. Go again, San Carney. Put the power on. He does very well. Right, Paylark again. There's a little bit of space here, Paylark. Give it short for him, say quick hands, Boffier. But there might be something on for Golanitsky. Straight on the whistle! Golanitsky scores! Oh, he's just come on the field! First touch for the Russian, and he's rushing for a try! Unbelievable work! Short side, that's what I was trying to do before. But Reese Simmons took the injury, he took the pill with him. This time, we made it work. Short passes. Taking the tackle, forcing the defender to commit. Beasy almost got across, but we managed to just get it in time. It was only a 15 meter short side as well. 15 out, probably 15 in from touch as well. Woo, that was a big try. And I'm just worried that a team like Clermont can really come back hard in the latter parts of this game. I think we need a bigger lead as we can. 
in the second 40 minutes. Here's Heron. Good kick from him. And I think now is as good a time as any to make some changes. 14 points to seven. Of course, we've got to wait for the cutscene to finish. We will do it before they kick off. Half an hour to play. I want to see what Merrick and the likes have to offer. So let's, hopefully, let's not shoot ourselves in the foot. Paylag has been outstanding. Uh, but I want to see what Merrick can do. I, I want to bring Petavani on, but I don't want to overcommit to having no defenders on our team um, as well. Chalet Road, number eight, I've been impressed uh, with the works of, who's at number eight now? Sanconi, of course. Geelong's done not much, but uh, Willem's uh, active in the field, so Geelong can come off, and we will make the change in the front row. House can make way um, for Wynn Jones as well. We'll just keep a few players there, just because I, I feel like we're going to suffer more injuries. Half an hour still to play. This one is far, far from over. We've only got a seven-point lead, and oh, something special there. Damaru finding space. Oh, the offload could be magic. I think we've hung on there. Heron's done very well. That was silly rugby. Really was not so. God, Paylag. Oh my God, Paylag. You gotta kill someone in the stands as well as the seagulls. Get off. Get them off. There was a pass to a designated kicker. That's his final act. He's been good tonight though, Paylag. Let's be honest. He has been his active best. Well, Muhammad House isn't very happy. He's sacking the old head, giving it a bit of the uh, rebellious attitude. We don't take any of that, Muhammad. Let's keep it civil here, my friend. To the front they go. Oh, that's a full pass. Oh, suicidal rugby. I'd love to get down the other end and just pop over. Crouch. A little droppy, actually. I'm really Bind. liking the thought of a little droppy. No Six. penalties tonight already either, which is a bit... Another nailed scrum. Oh, we are on fire. Sanconi goes again. Rubbish pass. And down Mayru. Oh, no. Del mayru has been injured four times in this series already. Three times last season and already once in game one. Penavani, I'm so glad I didn't bring you on before because we would have been screwed. This is why I don't make subs, people. Do we change anything or leave Penavani there? I was actually going to bring Skinner off as well and Crouch. do some changes through Bind. him. Likes of Vincent and Ralhart still in the squad. We've got plenty of depth. Don't worry about that. Uh, but still, to see Dalmatra go off injured like that is... Well, it's a real problem. I'm afraid to say it is a real issue. We are firing it out. Pinavani massive ball to Ratiz. Now where can we find support? Well, Ratiz goes very high. Straight to the heavens. I think Pinavani might be offside. Boffier gets back and falls over. A terrible kick in Ratiz. We can play it? No, Ratiz. I thought we could play that. That's a bit messy. From us and from Clermont. But given the chance we have now. Oh, no. Oh, no, Gilda Sally. You've made a mess of that. It's Gilda Sally. No. What have you done? That's a bit of a danger. A real chance for us Divide. to shut this game down. Oh, still a mistake. Shot from George Moala. No, that's for Fana. Moala's beside him. One of the two. They look very similar. It looked promising here from Clermont, but look at that. I've lost hands rubbing his Crouch. face. He was never going to catch Fine. that properly. Merrick's on. This is our first Six. chance to see the new signing. Oh dear, that's a, that's a poor hit by us. We're going to get Sanconi to run again. I like Sanconi running. He's a bit like Shaleru, isn't he? Way past his support. Oh no! This he was he's just too good, Sanconi. <laughs> Out wide, that's a very good tackle Release. from Merrick. Oh! Up over the ball as well. Short side, they're not gonna go too far there. Slip back in. Oh, another good pass. Raka. He's out. He is out. And a big Fiji and oh, he's a monster player. I'm not liking where this game's going at the moment, team. I'm really not. A seven point lead is good. Hold on to that. Yes, good work. Right. Hold on to it. Ah, oh, we're not going to do it. I wanted to use a set piece there. But I'm sir. Oh, it opens up for Willem sir. Inside Willem sir. Outside. No, no way. Willem sir's injured. Oh my God. Three injuries. Game number one. It's already begun. But, um, hang on. Oh no. Oh, jeez. I already took someone off, didn't I? Ah, no. Uh, hang on. What's going on here? Did I not? 
put Capelli on? I thought I did put Capelli on. Oh no, I put Schlaver on the second row for Geelong, didn't I? What have I done to this team? That's a terrible thing to do. Williams is off, Capelli's on. Goodness gracious me. I'm s now, now you understand why we signed 17 Crouch. players, but let's look at the positives here. Positives right now, this Sit. is a drop goal. Oh, if I win the scrum. I want to beat Cromont. We've never beaten them before. Heron is right in front of the sticks. How's his drop kicking? Oh, it's sensational! Heron puts it over! It's 17 7, and Montpellier may be off to a successful winning start. Woohoo! That's a great one from the 22. He absolutely smoked it. I mean, that probably went over the practice grounds post next door as well. Over the roof. Wow, what a crunching kick there from Heron. I'm confident now, six minutes to play. We've got a 10 point lead. Release. I'm just hoping for no more entries. Now I want to see, actually, if Mira can, can, can oh he can. Merrick is a very, oh damn it Merrick. I was about to say a very good kicker. The one little slither that was over the sideline is that one little slither that he's kicked out in the full. He is way better kicker than Paylard though. Keep that in mind. We've also got Pulu in the um, reserves. Oh, they've thrown that straight to us. Now it's away to Heron. Heron's going to look to the heavens. Oh, that's a shocker. Sanconi chases. Sanconi grabs. Oh, come on, turn over. Broken play though. We could be in trouble. Nice little inside pass. Oh, and there's the charge. He grabs again. Lee, out wide they go. Pitavani can't stop it. Merrick on the chase. But it might be the second try. It will be. Bossier can't reel it in. Neither can Merrick. But the try is scored in left wing. Navarini Raka is the man. Wow, how did we contain him for 79 minutes? Look at this. Raka. Beautiful finishing from him. Priscilla Yato. I think I've been mixing up Yato and Raka all day long. The, the back rower and the winger. If I have, well, so be it. If I'm not, well, I'm an idiot. They've scored anyway, but I don't care because we got the drop goal. Heron, the hero. Oh, we could rename him. Here's the conversion from Lopez. Our house, LW, take the L home, Clermont. You've gone down in the opening round. What a start for Montpellier. We've got the win. It wasn't flashy. It wasn't spectacular. But I tell you what, it was damn hard earned. A big win and a big game from Montpellier. Clermont are good. I think we just starved them from ball. I think maybe having a bit more power in that second row has helped out our back row as well. Big tries. Boffier, the first, it was a cracker as well off the set piece. Love to see it. But Golanitskis, I think he only touched the ball once, Golanitski, and it was in a try scoring effort, probably 10 meters out. It was all he tried to do earlier with Reece Sammet, and he took an injury. That is game-changing moments. If we didn't score that, we were taking the L home with us as well. Here and though, the hero. Two conversions and a drop goal. 17-14, the final score. Fritz Lee, Alvarini Raka, the two tries. Raka, not Yato. Um, Yato had a great game, though, as well, in that back row. Lopez, two conversions from two. Wow, we won. I can't believe we beat Clermont. That's a stunning start to our season. Big possession stats. That's why we won this game. You saw when Clermont had the ball, they were way better than us. Those two tries they scored were when they got extended periods of possession. Look at all their errors. The knock on from Paylark's tackle. They dropped the ball in, in contact and they did not protect it around the fringes well enough. We got a lot of turnovers. They made a lot of errors. That was the big difference. All in all, 17-14. What a start, lads! What a start! Well, the regular season is underway and it's the dreaded emails we have already. Several players have been injured. Paul Williams, a broken nose? Broken nose, Paul! We're not boxing, man. It's rugby. He's out for six weeks. Oh, Lewis Reece Samet, pinched nerve. He's out for 14 weeks. And Jeffrey Dameru is out with a fractured jaw. For eight weeks. 
Not happy. Not happy at all. Nope, nope, nope. Not happy at all. Right, Willem Sit. Out you go, son. We've got a big number of players, though, so I'm not too concerned just yet. Capelli can come in. And we did sign another second row, didn't we? Who was that? Who, where is he? Flanquart, of course. Why is Flanquart not starting? Let's put the injured players up the top because they're going to be a bit more hard to keep track of now. We've got so many players. Um, do we start Flanquart now? His first uh, top 14 game. Let's do it. Um, let's put Capelli back on the bench. Yes, definitely. Flanquart, great player. Uh, we'll leave the rest the same. Of course, open to, to suggestions. Anytime you think we should be starting someone else, do let me know. I do read your comments. And we do, of course, take them on board each and every uh, every every episode, really. We do take them on board. Uh, we'll take off Reece Emmett. Do we start Golanitsky, who is just a superstar? Um, Peter Barney's only a fullback fly half. So we'll wait till we get injuries in those positions. Uh, Dalmeiru in midfield. Who? Oh, I know who we bring in. Jan Serfentain. I'm surprised, actually, uh, when we select this team on stream, the Surfontein was not part of the mix. Where's the other injured guy gone? Is he still in the reserves? He is indeed. Reese Samet. Right, we'll put him. Um, okay, we need another back. Darmon. Did you go? No, no. We've got to fly out fullback in Padovani there. So we'll go for someone in the midfield, I think. Lucas, not great, but a good shout because he can play center and wing. Um, who else do we have in the mix as well? Ryle Hark. We know we can put him anywhere on the field. Let's put Rahak in. Let's bring the old, old boys back in as well. And um, let me know your changes to the team. I might make some starting changes before next episode. Um, I'm thinking the likes of starting nine. Maybe Pulu will get the start next time. Does Skinner move in to 10 for the next match? And we play the likes of a Rahak or a Vincent in there instead. Uh, do we change anything on the wings? Boffier for Padovani. We've got options not so much in the back row, but certainly the front row. Um, we do have the Welshman, Wynn Jones, as well, who could come sit that spot for a loose head. Might do that. Mohamed House uh, can ride the pine for the next match. Garado's there as hooker as well. Uh, we do have two tight heads there. Um, Bahangni is one who can stay. He might even start the next game. But regardless, plenty of options, and we will make those happen for the next episode. Let's take a look at the table, though. That is the big thing. We are one from one, and we've not actually played um, two games yet. We sit three-point points of Rachel. Look at Bordeaux, minus 20, and they sit above us with one extra point. But the bonus points is what it is all about. We've got four, no bonuses yet, but I'm not too worried. Leon is top. La Rochelle have lost. Oh, ho, ho. they've lost the game already. Clermont, one and one. We got lucky. First game of the season, I think we played very, very well. Rassinger up there, Bane. Castro's there, pal. Toulon, way down in eighth. Bordeaux, ninth stud in 11th stud front say Toulouse have lost two. Oh, wow. Really going by the namesake here to lose. Minus five points differential from two losses, Agent and Breed. I want to see what their two losses are. That's our schedule. We've got Agent next, uh, Toulon, Bordeaux, Pau, uh, La Rochelle, Bane, and Racing in the first two months of the season. Then a start front save before we go into Europe with Munster, uh, Leon, and not Caster, but Exeter instead. Let's have a look at those two games from, uh, who was it? Uh, Toulouse, down the bottom. Where have they played here? Um, that, was the old, that was their first game. Uh, Toulouse, there we go. 22 18. Oh my god, they lost to the Powell. They lost to the Powell in the only game. A bit like this, I think. Luck, definitely. Start of the season is the best time to beat a top side. And then, where are they? Toulouse, oh, lost to Toulon. 18 17. My word, that is a start to the season. We are going to have a thriller in store this year. We've got a great team. Great depth. And the big guns, well, they're dropping points already, which is a good start. La Rochelle's got a loss. Toulouse has lost two. I'm having a feeling we're going to be in for a good season this year. That does wrap me up, though, for today. Thank you all for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. Hope you enjoyed the introduction video as well. It was a bit mad. It was a bit crazy. Um, and I'm hoping we can get some more streams going in, um, I don't know, weekends, at nights or something. We'll do something to get some more action coming your guys' way. But until next time, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you for round two. Until then, though, take care.